Welcome to this mindful moment. Today, we will explore leading or communicating with purpose as it relates to paying attention to others. Let's think about how we can take our mindfulness practice and apply it to our everyday lives, how our practice can serve others in addition to serving ourselves. I love this quote by French philosopher Simone Weil, attention is the rarest form of generosity. What a powerful skill to have in general. Regardless of your position, whether in an organization or a family unit, you're going to be called on to lead at some point. And if you are more comfortable, please insert the word communicate for leader. What traits do you think make a good leader or communicator? The best leaders have a sense of clarity and purpose in how they engage with the world and in how they lead or communicate with others. They connect with people on a very human level. They get out of, quote, the self and give their full undivided attention to the other person or persons in the room. Their phone is turned off and face down. They are not just waiting to speak. They are engaged in actively listening looking you in the eye, and their body language is affirming that they are hearing you, nodding, gestures, facial expressions. Let's explore the concept of leadership with mindful focus and mindful communication, starting with meditation. I invite you to join me by taking a moment to allow your body to settle into a comfortable position. Getting settled sends a message to the brain to pay attention to the present moment. You may close your eyes or keep them slightly open, cast down, softening the gaze. Lift the core, heart to sky. Do whatever resonates with you. There is no right or wrong. And let's start by taking a deep, full breath in through the nose. Followed by a long exhale out through the mouth. And now I invite you to drop back to your natural breath. And while you were focused on the breath, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. But instead of thinking about the questions in terms of coming up with responses, focus on how the questions make you feel. Allow the questions to just sink in, like pebbles being dropped into a still pond. And I want you to be sensitive to any ripples that you notice. As a leader or communicator, what is most important to you? What are you aiming to achieve when you communicate? As I ask these next questions, notice the thoughts, feelings, or images that come to mind or where in the body any feelings arise. What are the values that guide you? What may be preventing you from living your values each day? Continue breathing in and out and bringing attention to your body and noticing if the mind is wandering or if it's attached to any particular thoughts or feelings that arise. No judgment. Now imagine yourself communicating 
or leading with purpose. What does that feel like? And now as we begin to re-emerge from this reflection, notice how you feel in body and mind. And I invite you to finish with a full deep breath in and a long breath out. And when you feel comfortable to do so, I invite you to come back to the room, open your eyes if they were closed, and stretch as you need. Thank you for this mindful moment.